Addiction doesn't just hurt the woman who's fighting it. It also affects those around her, and it can have a dramatic effect on her children. But there is help, and there is hope. Stacy Reed is the board president of Women's Recovery Center. Stacy, thank you so much for being here. We're talking about fetal alcohol spectrum disorder, and the initials are FASD. What exactly is that? Fetal alcohol spectrum disorder is a range of lifelong problems, mm -hmm. and it stems from exposure in the womb by alcohol. So the mother is, is addicted to something, and the baby, the unborn baby, obviously is affected. Correct. These children can actually be born addicts. Correct. Right. So at the Women's Recovery Center, we have actually um, intervened and have provided to society 584 sober babies since we were founded in 1986. And we do that because we have a three-phase treatment in getting women sober. Okay, so that's astounding, the success rate. Yes. I mean, really, those numbers are and unprecedented. We are, we are little known, but making uh, a big change in that. We have elevated our brand and raising awareness to who mm. we are and who we serve. We're nestled in the Stockyards neighborhood on the near west side okay. of Cleveland. All right. And um, again, our three phases of treatment are instead of outpatient, we also deal with relapse prevention and our aftercare parenting. And we're always educating the women on the effects of alcohol. And fetal alcohol spectrum disorder is really not known or talked about. Right. We talk about autism being uh, a spectrum disorder. Right. Fetal alcohol spectrum disorder is the same. The highest extreme is fetal alcohol syndrome. And there you can have physical deformities. Um, and then there's a wide range of impairments um, that are all very costly to society. Um, children that are um, a fetal alcohol syndrome on the spectrum. They can have learning disabilities, mm. um, trouble with the law, addiction themselves, right. and again, all impacting um, costs to society. When a, when a woman comes to the center, I, I imagine they would come to you in different places of their life. Absolutely, right. yeah, yeah. And we walked through our door uh, last year, and 80% of them being sober 90 days after graduation, which is a metric for us right. that they are capable of sober living. It's, it's, it's incredible. And, and like you said, it's kind of a, an unknown secret at this point, and that's what we're not trying to do is, is let people know this is available. Yeah, I think there's a lot of shame around right. um, drinking alcohol right. during pregnancy. Um, the, the, the great thing is, is that it is preventable. And just don't drink if you're planning on becoming pregnant. If you are pregnant and are drinking, mm. please stop. And again, reach out to us at the Women's Recovery Center. Right. There is help. There is hope. There is help. It is not a curable uh, condition, but it is manageable. Right. Um, and so our goal at the Women's Recovery Center is to get the word out and to prevent women from drinking during pregnancy right. and to really stop drinking. Stacy, great information, and that's what we're doing here. Thanks so much for getting the word out. For more information, 216-651-1450, the phone number, and womensctr.org. We appreciate it so much. Thank Thanks you for, for having you us here. And congratulations on the success rate. Thank you. All right, more of Good Company when we come back. Thanks. Bad. This segment of Good Company was sponsored by the Women's Recovery Center. If you're thinking about Chevy, think Serpentini.